This is an unedited segment of a show I did with, uh, what's his name? Oh, Frank Sinatra. Yes, he came out as a surprise and nobody cared. He was a wonderful man, rest his soul. Every time I was with him, he always showed me his gun and slapped me. That's how he relaxed. But Frank was the greatest. And he was on the show and I had to run in front of his car. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Warm himself. I feel like Phil Harris in the old days. I'm a nice guy, in spite of what you heard. I'm a nice guy, you can bet your little bird. Whenever you see me, just don't stop to chat. I'm sorry, me, fat. Frank? Sinatra? Wait a minute. Wait a second. Huh, huh, Frank? Don't walk out, I'm just starting to go. Babe. Give me a break, Frank. I never liked you anyway, Frank. I'm fed up with you, Frank. Hold the music. A big man walked out on me. I always loved Dick Haynes. I never told you that. But that's been my idol since I'm a kid, Dick Haynes. You saw him. Did you recognize him? What are you sitting there like a dummy? That was Frank Sinatra, you yo yo. You stared at him like it was some little warm up guy. Sure, he got old, but we all do. <laughs> big star. Walks out on me. Fantastic. You know how old he is when he takes a shower? The water don't even go down. There's craters. <laughs> That's only a joke, Frank. He could make a lot of trouble. He phones Marco Bombonanzo. <laughs> an Italian guy in Newark that goes, that wasn't funny. Hi, how are you, dear? But wasn't that beautiful? Frank Sinatra walked out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him pay for that. I really am. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy all his albums, melt the wax, and use it for candles when I fool around with a girl. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, in spite of what you heard. I'm a nice guy, you can bet you little bird. Whenever you see me, just don't stop to chat. I'm sorry, lady, I can help it if you're fat. I'm a nice guy. Thank you, you're a delightful audience. <laughs> they all recognize you, old timer. <laughs> hey, Frank, you heard Hold me. Hold it a minute, I got lines here. Do you okay. mind? Huh? Yeah, baby. That's the most applause I've heard since Dean Martin left Jeannie and his kids. <laughs> Frank. Since I Dean get... Martin and Jeannie and <laughs> left the kids. But I'm fine. Two, three, four. Hey, folks, don't, don't get a moody. I don't need this. Why am I? I'm, I'm walking around like I got a lolly. Here, you take this for a half hour. I'm walking around with a lollipop here. Don't do that with it's a microphone. It's only microphones. They can afford it, Frank. What are you worried about? You're rich. You'll get moody and buy the whole place. <laughs> Listen, Frank, yes. I thank you for coming, and I love you. I really do. And the applause proved it, Dave, really. They applauded. They, they would could, applaud. Could you it down, Nelson? Yeah. <laughs> They'd applaud anybody who could get you to stop singing. That's what they were really trying to tell you, buddy. That, that... Uh, That's it out there, folks. That... <laughs> Nelson was having a meeting. That bad, eh, Frank? <laughs> well, that's really not that bad, Don. You sing better, a little better than a lot of big names I've known. All right, you said it. You hear it? Frank Sinatra endorsed me that I sing great. You heard it, that I sing better than some of the big names. You folks heard it right here. Thanks, Frank. Howard Cassell? <laughs> Richard Harris, <laughs> Fritz the Cat, 
Margaret Truman. You ever hear her? Oh, <laughs> right. Are you kidding? I do the piano. <laughs> Listen, Frank, I gotta tell you. Hey, why do you do that to me? Don't I push your albums? I stand around in Newark and I go buy Frank's album. I do whatever you want. I mean, say something nice about me, Frank. It could help the show. I'm, I'm begging you. Listen, I, I never, you know. All I'll right, do you want. Don, don't please. Don't Frank. sweat in my arm, will you, Sorry, please? Frank, whatever you say. Let me put it to you this way. Yeah, Frank. So far, you've been as funny as Eric Severide. That's number one. <laughs> oh, Frank, don't take me down the dump and give Eric me a Eric Severide, break. folks. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Severide, folks. Four. How about Irving R. Levine? He's another funny man. <laughs> Forget that, Frank. We'll do what they know best. Okay. Da 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 da. Boom. Sorry, Frank. I, I touched... work alone, Don. Don't try to get me into your act. It's murder when you touch an Italian. They get so moody. Uh, pick up the ice truck. Now, uh, Frank, don't. Please, you put me in the dumper. I need this, Frank. I need a shot. Please, I know you love me. Down deep in your heart, with all the nonsense, I know you love me. Wrong. Wrong? Boy, Frank, I don't know with you. I go to all the Italian restaurants. I go and eat that food and I enjoy it. I do that all for you, Frank. I don't even like the tunes. I buy ice from your people when Gino Mangananzo calls me. Marco Panazzi, Vitatti Tontenenti, Tontoni Tontbananzi. They all call me. But they're all Irish. What do you mean? Isn't he great, Fox? Now, but Franks, Franks? Listen, Frank. Do me a favor. Give me a break. I got relatives living in Jersey. Not really. for long. <laughs> you, Frank, you, you heard something? <laughs> no. Listen, you drove all the way up from Palm Springs to be here tonight, and I appreciate it. No, Wait. no, no, it's not true, uh, Don. I was just driving in the neighborhood, and I was looking for a saloon, and I thought I saw one. Oh. I took a wrong turn. But does it matter? You're here. It helps me. You stopped your car and came in, and these people know it, to help me with my show, and I appreciate it. All right. How come you didn't take the helicopter? <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but the, the roto, the blades, got all torn up. You mean you had an accident? Well, if you want to call it that, about 3 o'clock this morning, I got up, and as I was banking the turn from the bedroom into the bathroom, the blades got tangled up in a chandelier and busted up the hole. Don't be that way, Godfather. Why do you have to be a toucher? <laughs> You're my Godfather. What do you want from me? <laughs> no, I love you. And I kid about the Italians and I kid you, Frank. And why do I kid you? Because you can help me. Mm -hmm. But Frank... <laughs> No, they're going to help me. These people here, these clowns that came in from Boston are going, who is he, Alice? Now, but Frank, you're marvelous. And you know what counts? That you're here tonight. The magic. Feel it, the excitement. Remember the Dorsey days? Remember when you said to me in the Dorsey days, you leaned over at the Strand Theater oh. and said, not now, kid. Maybe. Now, I'll tell you this. Will you hold it down, Nelson? <laughs> Nelson Riddle's got earphones on, and he keeps saying, who's, who's the singer? Now, every time we talk, he talks. But the great thing is, Frank, you're here. And it makes me, I haven't been on television for a few years, and why? Because I had other shows opposite me. But, uh... <laughs> hey! I admit I was on ABC, but I don't count that. You know, ABC I use as a nightlight when the wife and I want to have a luau. But, uh, uh, I was on many, many stations, and now, finally, a great man like you has come here tonight. I know your son, Frank Jr., I know Tina, I know Nancy, I know your whole family. Mm -hmm. And I say from the bottom of my heart, Frank, help me, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, Frank, really, I love you. I love you, and this is a homecoming, and I thank you for that. I know it's a homecoming. And they ought to call it old Blue Mouth is back. <laughs> That's what they ought to call I don't it. care what you say. Yeah. And I mean this from my heart. Can you handle a compliment? You're a nice guy. In spite of what you heard, <laughs> you're a nice. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, the man up. himself, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Goomba! Frank! Goomba! Frank Sinatra.
Thanks so much. Uh, Frank will be back a little later, as soon as he goes home, to find out where his new home is. Anyway, you're delightful. I don't think he was that big, did you, Nelson? But we love him. Anyway, you're a delightful audience. And remember what Frank said to me backstage tonight. He said, you think they'll like me? And you did. Bless your heart.